My leg is in second stone. My leg is in second stone. I will take a crumble in the door in seconds. This is just something else outside of this. This is just a straight fight. So I'm happy with, with that because that's what I came here for. I came in here for a straight fight. Read between the lines, Jason. Conor McGregor knows he's going to lose tomorrow night. Good read or bad read? Uh, it's a bad read. He does not know he's going to lose. Listen, every great athlete envelops himself in a delusion that he is the greatest of all time. Conor McGregor thinks he's the greatest of all time. Nate Diaz knocked some sense into him in their last fight. And so he's going deeper and deeper into that delusion that every great fighter goes into. And so he's smothering himself in that. I think he's also trying to get a mental edge over Nate Diaz. If you look at how Holly Holm took out Ronda Rousey, and it's not that Holly Holm did this, but the media helped bait Ronda Rousey into being overly aggressive and to try to fight Holly Holm in a different style. Instead of taking her out with the arm bar, Ronda Rousey tried to get a little aggressive and Holly Holm knocked her into the next week or into the next year. Mm -hmm. He wants Nate Diaz to come out overly heated, pumped up, to give himself a chance to take out a bigger man that's already beaten him. I don't think he knows he's going to lose. He's trying to bait this guy. Well, let me, uh, you know, explain myself here, because some people at home might be saying, knows he's going to lose. Have you seen the lack of focus on McGregor since the loss? All he's done is provoke Floyd Mayweather. I want to chase some money. I'll fight Floyd Mayweather. Talk WWE, again, chasing money. And guess what else he's done? Gone on Twitter and gone after people. He is chasing money. He's trying to improve his hashtag brand, right? And that's why he doesn't care. He could have fought a couple tomato cans. He could have defended his title. But no, he knows there's big money, two-plus million dollars. He could end up with three or four million for fighting Nate Diaz, whatever the result is. I think the focus is money, and that's all he cares about. And so I, I, I think part of your argument is he's trying to cash in because he knows he's at the end of his Mr. time. Sir. And so it's, it's cash in time and wherever he can get the biggest paycheck. Floyd Mayweather, Nate Diaz, whatever. It's not a horrible argument. Oh, so I, I just do don't this. think a great athlete, I'm just, I've seen this delusion from athletes before. That's what I think we're seeing here. Okay.